Welcome to the Midnight Players Program, where we cold read your favorite old-time radio plays. Every flib, flub, and flop completely uncut. And now, for tonight's episode, the strip teaser and the time warp. Listen carefully. That is the sound of someone moving into the fourth dimension. You'll hear the full story. Now, <laughs> you'll hear the full story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, from Hollywood on Romance. Romance. Transcribe stories of love and adventure, of comedy and crisis, of conflict and human emotion. Today, an amusing and highly improbable amount of life in the 25th century as we present Joseph Slotkin's science fiction adventure, The Strip Teaser and The Space Warp. Hiya, my name is Benny Spelvin. I'm a space bum. <laughs> now all this happened just a couple years ago when I was laying over on Venus after being Jetman on the series The Neptune Run. Well anyhow, there I was relaxing with my second Plutonian stinger in the dignified atmosphere of Charlie's Venusian retreat. When there was a strange noise just outside the dive. <laughs> Give me a drink. Oh, oh my, what? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Hi, I beg your pardon. Would you mind if I joined you? Hey, you don't look good. Maybe you better sit down. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, waiter. Yeah? What do you what do you all have? I'll have two of whatever he's got there, sir. What? Hey, mister, this here's a Plutonian stanger. Yeah, we only allow two a customer. Well, maybe you'd better give me three, waiter. Who are you trying to kid, miss? Uh, look, never mind, Sam. Just bring on the little gal here a couple of Uranus delights and forget it, will you? Okay, but nobody gets wise with me. I got my job. Look, uh, you don't want to mind them waiters, miss. They're all from Saturn. You know, cheap help. Oh, I've had to get used to a lot. <laughs> oh, I've had to get used to all sorts of things lately. Yeah, yeah, so I see. Okay, that'll be two asteroids. Oh, here you are, waiter. Keep the change. Yeah, miss. Thanks. Sure. This is what's came in early. Sorry. <sighs> Hey, uh, look here, fella. Maybe it's none of my business, but Charlie's poison, that'll pick you up and lay you down. Oh, what difference does it make? He'll get me sooner or later, and then... He? Yes. Perhaps you heard that heat ray gun going off outside a moment ago? <laughs> Again. <laughs> oh. Yes, that noise. <laughs> that one? <laughs> oh, yeah. So that's what them noises was. Yes. Wherever I go, he shoots at me. Waits for me to leave the house, and then he shoots at me. Well, look, mister, it's none of my business, but with you carrying all them asteroids around, no wonder somebody's taking pot shots at you. Oh, Luigi isn't interested in money. <laughs> Luigi? You don't mean Luigi the lug. Precisely. <laughs> look, this ain't funny, miss. Everybody knows what a dangerous guy that guy is. What's he got on you? He thinks I stole his girl. Oh, sure. I mean, any fella that... <laughs> Oh, stole his... You? Well, I didn't, of course. But the fact that the last time she was seen was entering my apartment, and the fact that she never left it, at least visibly, well, it makes it difficult to convince him. Nah, 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 nah wait a minute. Oh, I don't expect anyone to believe me anymore. Sometimes I find it hard to believe myself. Well, do you know who Luigi's gal is? Was. Helen Latour. The same. The queen beauty of the burly circuit? The same. 
She was a most attractive person. Yeah, right out of this world. Precisely, right out of this world. In your apartment? No, just out of this world. <laughs> nice. Look, if you wouldn't mind running the risk, I would appreciate your company. Well, where are you going? Back to my apartment. The refreshments here lack the needed stimulation. I have a much better supply at home. Now, under ordinary circumstances, I'd turn down such an invitation, but I find myself feeling sorry for the little gal who's obviously a little soft in the noggin, so I give in. Besides, I'm fascinated like a sn- <laughs> I see you out of the corner of my eye. <laughs> I can't! And besides, I'm fascinated like a snake by this connection between this here mild looking neb and the luscious Helen Latour. <laughs> oh, here we are. Here, let me. Oh. Here. <laughs> here, let me turn on the lights. <sighs> Hey, it's a crazy looking pad you got here. Yes, isn't it? Why, it's good to be safe again. Do you need a look? Yeah. <laughs> Please forgive me for not introducing myself sooner, but under the circumstances, my name is Tabitha J. Brown, PhD, MD, and MA. Oh, uh, well, I'm Benjamin Spelvin. Uh, no initials. Very well, Benny, if I may call you that. Oh, sure, that's okay. Benny, I am, you see, a psychiatrist. You mean you're, uh... uh... Oh! Oh, yeah, yeah. I am concerned mainly with psychological abnormalities and maladjustments. I'm also known as something as an expert in the science of phenomenology. Yeah, yeah, sure, rad. Uh, what's this got to do with the disappearance of Helen Latour? Oh, yes. The events that brought me, a, moder a modest scientist, into contact with this awful Luigi, the lug, and that delectable creature, Miss Helen Latour. <sighs> Not so long ago, I came to Venus from a rather successful series of experiments on Mars to continue my research on the lack of, oh my god, on the lack of inhibition in the outer planets, among the inhabitants, that is. Everyone on Earth had long ago been successfully set at peace with their psyches, but here, on the frontiers of civilization, <clears throat> well, I had set up practice here in this apartment when one day I was visited by this very attractive young woman. I'm grateful for your seeing me, Professor. Honestly, I am. Miss, uh, Latour, was it? Yeah, Helen Latour. You heard of me? Well, the name has a familiar ring. I've been known in the strip tease game as Queen of the Galaxy Gabbit. Well, just what do you do? I'm a tease artist. I take it off. Strip. Huh? Well, Doc, the trouble is, I'm right out of this world. I beg your pardon? That's the trouble. I've been right out of this world. Oh, you have... dreams? Let me explain. I'm open up next week for a layoff on the Earth, see? Well, they got the whole show of the little Venus built around my number, and I figured out a routine that's sure sensation. You should see this number. It begins with me... Do it, do it. <laughs> <clears throat> it begins with me wiggling like this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I believe we can dispense with the, uh... Oh, uh, but, that, oh, but that's just it, Doc. I, I gotta tell you about it. It's symbolic. See, sort of a United Planets number. The idea is that all the planets are held together by love. Real solid love, the kind that grips you. Uh, yes. Well, please, Miss Latour, come to the source of your difficulty. Hmm? Oh, uh, well, the number's coming along terrific. I got it down perfect, every movement. I feel I've reached a peak in my art when it happens. Yes? I'm doing the routine in my dressing room, see? First the singing and the bubbles, and I get to the part where I suddenly give a sort of wiggling, or with my hips. A and then... And then, Miss Latour? Well, that's it, Doc. That's when it happens. One minute, I'm standing there in my room practicing, and then... I ain't there anymore. Well, where were you? That's the funniest part of it. I was standing on in sand in some kind of desert-like. And Doc, there was something staring at me. I see. A man, doubtless. 
Yeah, and when he saw me standing there, he came towards me. So I figures, here's a man, and I've got my new routine. Let's try it out. So watching his face, I started my dance. Then what happened? Well, I got to that same hip sway. His face became dim and sort of cloudy. And then in a flash, I was back in my room again, just like it never happened. Uh, Miss Latour, tell me, when you were a child, were you always imagining men were looking at you? <laughs> they were. Hey, you think I'm imagining I was somewhere else? Well, how come when I get back in my room, there was sand on the bottom of my slippers? Yes, of course, of course. Now, I am not disagreeing with you. Look, I'll do my routine. Right here, Doc, right now. You'll see. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, no, 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 no. Please, Miss. Miss Latour, not here. Not in my... Please, not in my... Uh, you see now? Yes, yes, I'm afraid I'm beginning to. Oh, dear. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> How do you like it, Professor? <laughs> <laughs> it's quite interesting. Oh, my. Oh, most unusual. <laughs> oh, dear. Just about now, I get into my new hips way, like this, and... <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> Is that the hum? Oh, that's the pop. Okay. Yeah. There's no hum. Ah, uh, Miss Latour? Miss Latour? Where are you? Hey, it's Tiffany, your favorite midnight player. We love making these and we want to make more. So remember to like, share, subscribe, follow, leave comments, tell us what you think. Tell me how great I am and how much Jared sucks. Or, you know, whatever you want to do. Uh, be sure to follow us on YouTube at All This TV, Instagram at All This TV, TikTok at All This TV, Spotify at All This TV, and Patreon at All This TV. And now back to the episode. Okay, so back to Brown. Okay, I got it. She was gone. Without warning of any sort, she had vanished into thin air. <laughs> well, you can imagine how perturbed I was. I searched the entire apartment thoroughly. For a moment, I was inclined to believe it was merely a hallucination of my own, but there was evidence of the clothing she had already um, <clears throat> shed lying on the floor to prove my own sanity. Oh, I needed a drink. Something to calm me. As I was pouring myself a Uranian delight, I... Oh! Ah! I'm back, Doc! Miss Latour! Guess where I was this time? What is that you're holding? It, it looks like a human hand! Oh, this? This is some kind of metal glove. <sighs> what a night. Night? But you've been gone merely a few minutes. How can you say night? Search me. All I know is I just spent the last few hours with a knight. You know, the kind that ride a horse? Well then... Then this is a gauntlet, the sort, w the sort worn by those legendary knights in the prehistory time of King Arthur. He was so sweet, Doc. Talk kind of funny. He called it English. But I could understand enough to know. Well, anyhow, <laughs> after a while, I remembered you'd be worried about me, so I sneaked out of his castle. Castle? Yeah. Anyhow, I went through my routine to the point where I wiggle my hips and poof, here I am. Yes, but where were you? Oh, search me. He said his name was Lancelot. What? Lancelot. It's a nice name. Hmm. I wonder where Luigi would. I wonder what Luigi would say. Lancelot. A metal gauntlet, sand on your slippers. Miss Latour, do you realize what you've accomplished by a mere wiggle of your hips? I built up quite a reputation. I know that. Here are my seams straight. Here are my seams straight. Yes, yes. Look. Either we're both crazy, or you have found a way to penetrate to the fourth dimension into time itself. Oh, that's fine, Doc. Only, if you could figure out some way to get that... Penetration, you called it, out of my act, so I won't disappear in the middle of it. After all, I don't want to disappoint the cash customers. Your act is unimportant now. You have created a miracle in science merely by the undulations of your lower extremities. Somehow, in some way, through that little... Wiggle of your hips, you have found your way through a warp in space that's projected you into another time sphere coextensive with our own. Oh, that's great, Doc. Supposing I come up here again sometime so I can see Lamp. Well, hardly. Come to my apartment so you can carry on with a man dead a thousand, three thousand years? Certainly not. He didn't seem dead to me. Miss Latour, do you realize what this would do to science? <laughs> what do I care about science? All I want is my routine. Can't you help me get there? 
fourth dimensional wiggle out of my routine, or can't you? Well, I'd have to study this phenomenon much more closely. <sighs> Listen, I built myself up from a walk from a walk on in the chorus, worked hard, figured out my own bumps and grinds, developed my own hip rolls, just so I could make myself the biggest name in the business. And now what happens? I got what you call the fourth dimensional wiggle that gets me out through a space warp into somebody's backyard who lived before I was born. Well, I'm fed up. I'll cut the business out of my routine and that's that. No, 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 you've got a debt to society. Listen, I ain't playing guinea pig for no jerk scientists. I've got my art to think about. No, 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 please. I grant you all that, but Miss Latour, we... Well, I was nonplussed, but I felt sure if I could just see her again and explain her value to science... Well, at any rate, I knew where to go. I had never in all my life frequented one of those burlesque houses. <laughs> so it was with some apprehension that I sank into a seat in the semi-darkness of the Little Venus Theater. Before the main show begins, ladies and gentlemen, let me your ears. Now, you see this? Well, you've never seen nothing like it. Now, for only two asteroids, you get a box of delicious chocolates with the nuts inside, but a valuable in each, a valuable prize in each and every box, plus, plus, folks, a voluptuous picture of Maisie the Martian. Now, my assistants will mock amongst you. As I relaxed, munching on the chocolates I had purchased, I, I must confess I was intrigued. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the, gal the queen of the galaxy give up. Our star attraction, the toast of the universe, Miss Helen Latour. Woo! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! yeah. Well, there she was, doing her routine on the stage. It was quite well received. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! But there was something lacking, that hip wiggle. Once having seen it, one comes to miss it, as it were. Beat up After the uh, performance, I endeavored to see Miss Latour backstage to see if I could persuade her to change her mind and let me examine the evidence more thoroughly. That was when I had my first brush with uh, this Luigi person. Hey, hon. Where do you think you're going? Oh, well, they told me Miss Latour's dressing room was this way, and I... Oh, a stage Georgiani, huh? Sir, I am Tabitha J. Brown, and I... Well, Tabby, you had not to be creeping around these strip gals' dressing rooms. Now, look, don't you understand? I must see her. Oh, yeah? Well, get this. Nobody goes in there but me. Luigi Camponiello. See? <laughs> see? <laughs> it's gotta be that. You read this? <laughs> oh, are you Luigi the Lug? What? <laughs> Nobody calls me that to my face, see? And if I catch him calling me that behind my back. <laughs> see? Oh, <laughs> yes, well, I'm sorry, Mr. Luigi. I really am. But I have got to see Miss Latour. You see, I want her to do her entire. <laughs> Routine for me, and... Listen, wise guy. Better scram before I scalp that ponytail of yours. Ah, <coughs> now look, you don't understand, sir. I must see Miss Latour. She must do her dance for me. Go on, creep. Beat it. Out you go and don't come back. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was desperate. She, she wouldn't answer her telescreen. I sent her numerous notes, which she returned unopened. And then one evening, just when I least expected it, Hiya, Doc. Miss Latour. Well, <clears throat> are you ready to continue with our experiments? I ain't here for any experiments. Oh, well then, why did you? I've been practicing that space warp and hip wiggle in private, see? And I've been meeting all sorts of characters, but not the one I got real interest in. Uh, <laughs> Miss Latour, if you have come here to... Oh, I'm bored, Doc. Luigi's getting even jealouser. So I figured I'd come back to the place I'd seen Lance a lot. Well, <laughs> never mind. So, here's hoping he'll be here, huh? Oh no. Oh, 
Oh, sweet boy, Lance. Uh, Miss Latour, please don't begin that again. No, 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 no. Miss Latour, please, please. I feel I must warn you that... Mm -hmm. Warn me about what? Warn you that... That time and space are really fluid, as that ancient philosopher Einstein suspected back in the 20th century. You may not reach the same time-space continuum again. You may well wiggle yourself into the middle of a pharaoh's tomb. Why, perhaps even to the bottom of the Russian Ocean. I'll take my chances, Doc. Mm -hmm. Pretty good, huh? Mm -hmm. I implore you, Miss Latour. And now, Lancelot, honey, here I... Well, I waited for what seemed an eternity, but she never reappeared to this day. <sighs> and that's the story. Yeah. Uh, you say, Professor, you mind if I grab another drink? Hmm? Oh, of course not, Benny. Help yourself. Thanks. Uh, I guess maybe you've been hitting the bottle yourself lately, huh, Doc? Oh, you don't believe me, do you, Mr. Spelvin? Uh, Benny. Oh, well, no. Not exactly, but you gotta admit, it sounds kinda... Oh! Luigi! Okay, Doc. Where is she? Where are you keeping her? Please, Mr. Luigi. Miss Latour is not here. I don't know exactly where she is. What do you know about it? Well, <laughs> Mr. I... Well, Mr. I've never seen this gal till this evening. I, I don't know nothing. I assure you, I would like to help you, Mr. Luigi. <laughs> well, hello, suckers. Baby! The great Latour herself. Baby, where you been? Wouldn't you like to know? So you've been two-timing me, huh? For this old goat? I assure you. The doc? <laughs> you've been making book with the Martians too long. Nah, I go where I would please. Ever since I figured out to get direction on this here wiggle. Uh, look, that white robe, Miss Latour, where did you get it? This thing? The old guy I married gave it to me. Married? What? Yeah. I'm getting fed up. Besides, I got a new fella that's got that's got a lot more S A than the guy I'm hitched to now. Why, three goddesses were after him to judge their <laughs> beauty contest once. Uh <laughs> you take that jet line to Atlantic City, baby. <laughs> Professor, tell this jerk what I'm talking about. So that's why you didn't come back. Yeah. I'm telling my new boyfriend about the way I can't I've been telling my new boyfriend about the way I can dance. He kept pleading for me to do my stuff. I finally gave in. I guess I'm still a harm. Ham. I guess I'm still a ham. Well, right after we eloped, I did my strip tease for him. I guess I must have forgotten out of the extra wiggle. Poof! Here I am. Well, where were you, Miss Latour? Oh, some crazy place. They wear sheets instead of clothes. Uh, they call them togas or something. Listen, I gotta get back. There's gonna be some trouble because Paris and me eloped. Uh, you been in France, Miss Latour? <laughs> well, I, I've been everywhere. Hmm, well, this here's Latour's farewell tour, man. <laughs> hey, baby, you ain't gonna start that routine here, are ya? Shut up, creep. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta concentrate. <laughs> this here robe sort of cramps my style. <laughs> you know, Miss Latour, there must be a destiny about this. Yeah? That's what my Paris keeps telling me. Mm -hmm. It won't see this. It won't seem the same on Venus without you. Oh, shut up, Professor. Baby, stop dancing around. Out of my way, lug. I'm working up to the finale. Mm -hmm. So long, suckers. Hello. Uh, Miss Latour. <laughs> she, she, she ain't here no more. Baby, <laughs> Helen, where are you hiding? <laughs> Honey? Alan! It's no use, Mr. Luigi. She's gone back. And this time I suspect it's forever. But she can't do that to me. Oh, gone back. Where? To her Paris. What? Leave me, sir, for... <laughs> Leave me, sir... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> what? Leave me for some Frenchman? Oh. No, 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 no. This Paris is a part of ancient Greece. He was a young shepherd prince who stole the wife of Menelaus and therefore started the Trojan War. Huh? Helen. <laughs> of course. That was her name. Helen of Troy, Helen Latour, the face that launched a thousand ships. Why, who would ever... 
Why, who would have ever believed? Okay, Pop. Uh, mister, you see the docs telling the truth. He didn't steal your girl. Who says he did? I'm going after that guy, Paris. And when I find him, I'm gonna turn on the heat ray and blast him right into Ceres. Is that how you pronounce that? Ceres? Ceres. <laughs> uh, no foreigner's gonna steal my girl. <laughs> <laughs> The Strip Tease and the Space Warp was written by Joseph Slotkin in 1956. Featured in... Is it the same guys as that other one? No. No, that was something else. I feel like we've, we've had a... We might have had a Slotkin before. I'm sorry. <laughs> the Strip Tease and the Space Warp was written by Joseph Slotkin in 1956. Featured in the cast were Carr Mackerlin as Tabitha J. Brown, Tiffany Villalobos as Helen Latour, Tomas Ledesma as Benny Spelvin and the MC, Miles Quinn as Sam the, w- the Waiter, and Jared Picolni <laughs> as Luigi the Lug and the Announcer. This has been an All This TV production. <laughs> 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 Cut it.